So semiconductor is a class of crystalline solid with conductivity between a conductor and insulator. Okay. Uh, compared to conductors, the conductivity is low, but compared to insulator, it can conduct electricity at certain conditions. Eh? Okay, so I will explain to you why later. So the conductivity is between conductor and insulator. Okay, the conductivity is better than insulator, but uh, is uh, compared to conductor, then it's uh, much lower. Okay, examples of uh, semiconductors are silicon, germanium, boron, tellurium, and selenium, and the two semiconductor which are very, very important is the silicon and germanium. Uh, you need to know all this uh, semiconductor, okay? But uh, usually, okay, we will only discuss silicon and germanium only. Uh, these three we are not going to discuss. Eh? We will only discuss silicon and germanium only. Uh, you need to remember this uh, because in the exam, they may give you a list and then they will ask you which, which of the followings are semiconductors, okay? Now then you should know. Let's see, silicon, eh? okay? Silicon or germanium. Uh, the structure is more or less the same, just the number of electrons is not the same. Eh? Now silicon, it has four valence electrons. And uh, silicons, four valence electrons means not octet. Eh? Okay, octet must be eight, right? Okay, so silicons will share electrons with the other silicons atoms so that it can achieve octet. For example, this silicon, okay, it has four electrons and then it share four pairs of electrons with another four atoms. Uh, then it will form uh, four covalent bonds, right? You share, ele share electrons means you form covalent bond. Eh? So each silicon atom will form four covalent bond. Okay, look at this one. Okay, because here actually there are another uh, atoms here. Okay, uh, surrounding this uh, silicon here. Okay, so I, I just do not draw it out here. So there are atoms, atom here, and then form four covalent bonds. Eh? Okay, so each silicon it form four. Four pairs of uh, four covalent bonds, four pairs of electrons, eh? four pairs of electrons to form four covalent bonds. To form four covalent bonds, not four pair. The covalent bond is uh, four covalent bonds, four pairs of electrons, four covalent bonds. And this electron is not, they, they are not free to move. So therefore, silicon cannot conduct electricity. Yeah? This electron are not free to move. So the bonded valence electrons are not free to move. Okay. So uh, silicon is not a good conductor at room temperature. Okay, all these electrons are not free to move. If a bonded electrons absorb heat energy from the surrounding, it may be promoted to higher energy level. We have discussed this uh, in previous lessons, right? When we discussed hermionic emissions, we say when metal is heated, the electrons, uh, the valence usually is the valence electron, uh, will jump to another shell. Okay, so electrons when they absorb energy, uh, they will jump to another shell. So for silicons, eh? for silicons, you see we have four electrons. This four electron is not free to move, eh? okay? But if you give energy to silicons, okay, then these electrons, eh? these electrons, it will jump to another shell, okay? It will jump to another shell. That is because the attraction force between the valence electrons and the, uh, and the nucleus or the core eh? is not very strong, okay? It's stronger than conductor but it's not very, very strong. So therefore, if the electrons absorb heat energy, uh, the electrons may jump to another shell, okay? When they jump to another shell, the distance between the nucleus and the valence, uh, and, and these electrons uh, increase. And if the distance increases, uh, the force, the attraction force will decrease. Uh. There's a force between these electrons. Uh. Okay, but the, the, the force decreases because the distance increases. Uh. So when this electron initially is here, when it jump out, it jump out to another shell, eh, then it become free to move. Here, it's not free to move, okay? But it absorb heat energy, eh? okay? It must absorb heat. It must absorb heat. It absorb heat, it will jump out to another shell and then it become free to move, okay? So these electrons become free to move. Uh, then it can conduct electricity. So day four, Semiconductor, it cannot conduct electricity at room temperature, but it can conduct electricity at higher temperature. Okay, if the temperature increases, then they can conduct electricity. Yeah? But at room temperature, they cannot conduct electricity. That is semiconductor. Okay, the semiconductor because the attraction force between the valence electron and the core is not very strong, so the electron can jump out and then become free electrons. Eh? Now, after these electrons jump out, okay, after this electron jump out. Uh, 
it will leave a vacancy in the this uh this uh, valence orbit okay initially there's one electrons right okay so after this electron jump out uh, it become a free electrons uh, so it will leave a vacancy here and this this vacancy here, okay can attracts the other electrons to to go in so the other electrons uh, maybe this uh, here is an electron you can these electrons can go into this uh this place okay and uh, this is called a hole okay this vacancy is called a hole eh? so when uh, an electrons jump out okay jump out it become a free electrons and then it will leave a hole here okay it will leave a hole here so that's what happens okay so that is free electrons and hole eh? free electrons and hole now this hole it can attract electrons eh? okay it can attract electrons so therefore we say the hole carry positive charge Okay, because it can attract other electrons to go in. It can it attract the same electrons to go in, or it can attract other electrons to go in. So the whole carry positive charge. So if temperature increase, the electrons absorb the heat energy, it jump out, become a free electron, and then it will form a hole at this uh, valence orbit here. So that is free electrons and hole. A hole has a tendency to pull electrons. Okay, so as I told you just now, okay, it can attract electrons to to, to fill the hole. Eh? So therefore, we assume that a hole carries positive charge. And both of the free electrons and the holes can help to conduct electric currents. So both of these free electrons and the holes are charge carrier. It can help to conduct electric currents. How? I will explain to you later. Uh, that is about the types of flow. Eh? Types of flow. Uh, flows of electrons and flows of holes. This is a semiconductor, okay, silicons, eh? and uh, they cannot conduct electricity. Eh? But if you heat this semiconductor, you heat these semiconductors, uh, let's say these electrons, okay, so these electrons, it may jump out, jump to higher shell, okay, outer shell, and then it become a free electrons, and then it can move, eh? okay, for example. So can you see that? Initially, yeah, the, the, the electron is here, okay, but if you heat it, then so this electron can jump out, okay. Now jump out, it will go to the positive plate, eh? okay. Okay, you see uh, there, there are two uh, plates here, positive plate and negative plate. Eh? So so this is in a, this thing is inside an electric field, okay. So the electron jump out, then it will go to the uh, positive plate. So this is the flows of the electrons. No matter where the electron is, uh, the electron here or here or here. So when it jump out, it will go to the positive plate. So it jump out, eh? okay, and go to the positive plate, and then it will leave a hole here. The hole it carry positive charge, and it will attract electrons. It can attract electrons from the surroundings. Eh? Let's say it attract the electrons from here, okay. So you see what happens here. Okay, so you see the electrons from here, the electrons from here move to into this hole. When the electron move into this hole, it fill this hole, eh? okay. Then the hole disappear, the hole disappear, okay. And when the electrons jump out from here, go here, okay. Then it will uh, leave a hole here. So then you see, yeah, the hole initially the hole is here, okay. Then the hole move here, right? So initially the hole is here, okay. Let's show you. Let me show you again. Initially the hole is here, okay. When the electrons from here jump to this hole, okay. So then the hole move here. The electrons jump back to the hole to fill the hole and the hole disappear. This is called the re recombinations. Eh? Recombinations. Okay, recombinations. Okay. And then the hole won't stop here because it can attract electrons from other place, right? Okay. So then uh, let's say the electrons from here, okay, go inside here. Then the hole. Now the hole come here already. Okay, the hole come here. And then uh, okay, again, the electrons from here go here okay electrons from here go here then the hole is here already so you see the here the hole is moving the holes move from here to here after that it move from here from here to here and then move to here okay um so let's see how the the, the hole move okay so the process continue you see the hole is keep on moving eh? okay so you see the hole move from here to uh, here okay to here and then it move from here to here and then move from here to here okay you keep on moving and again see the holes moving okay so you see the hole move to 
this one okay after that it moved to this after that it moved to this and after that it moved here okay so uh when you reach here okay the negative plate eh, the negative plate has a lot of electrons okay so the negative plates can give one electrons to the hole okay then finish okay so finish the life spans of the hole okay so you see the hole initially is here okay it move and then go to the uh, negative plate eh? okay so this is called the flows of the hole that's how the hole move eh? the flows of the hole and the hole carry positive charge eh? so it's a charge carrier uh, electrons will move to the positive plate okay electrons move to the positive plate and the hole move to the negative plate so there are two types of flow in the semiconductor the flows of the electrons and the flows of the hole okay so these two conduct electricity yeah? so that is how the electrons and the hole conduct electricity in a semiconductor resistance change due to temperature change yeah? so for semiconductor as the temperature increases more and more electrons are getting promoted to become free electrons and at the same time creating more and more holes okay just now I told you that uh, electrons, when they absorb heat energy, they will jump out to an uh, outer uh, shell and as they, they become free electrons and uh, they will form hole. Okay, If the temperature increase, more and more electrons can jump out and produce more and more hole. Eh? So when there are more and more electrons and more and more hole, then it uh, means that they are more charge carrier. So then they can conduct electricity better compared to a low temperature. So therefore, the conductivity of a semiconductor increases as the temperature increases. Okay, uh, that's the difference between conductor and semiconductor. Conductor temperature increase, the resistance increase. But semiconductor, uh, when temperature increase, the resistance decrease because when temperature increase, uh, more and more charge carrier, the, the the electron and the hole is called a charge carrier. More and more charge carrier will form in the semiconductor. So therefore, uh, they can conduct electricity better. So the resistance of semiconductor decreases as the temperature increases.